for the request of my other friend who cannot understand bengali i am doing the same video in english so friend today our discussing topic is supervision of trip circuit i have draw the total closing circuit and trip circuit of a control circuit of a breaker now starting from here that this is the dc source that may be the 220 kb dc or 110 volt dc from the dc db of substation it is coming to a mcb j1 j2 contact and the other part of the mcb that is j3 and j4 contact here the j3 is the positive terminal for closing tripping 1 tripping 2 and j4 is the negative terminal for closing j4 trip 1 and trip 2 here we today discussed about the supervision of trip circuit it is most important because without the supervision when the breaker is off if we on the breakers we have to sanguine that the trip circuit or the trip coil or related uh, resistance or the fuse or the path is okay in conditions and after the breaker uh, on uh, we should have to take the uh, post close supervisions Uh, for the tripping of the circuit that the path is okay or not or the resistance is okay or not or the trip coil is okay or not so uh, we should have to um, see or or sanguine that the path uh, of the trip uh, circuit um, should be okay in status or okay in conditions for the um, uh, betterment of the circuit breakers or for the safety of the working personnel so the how uh, the supervisions of the circuit breakers is just working uh, today i discussed about this matter so uh, the positive uh, pulse positive pulse of the dc is coming uh, via this uh, 6 amperes fuse this lr switch suppose this is uh, i am just uh, doing the local operations of the tripping so this lr switch local remote selector switch i selected in local positions this is the tnc switch inside the breakers uh, cubicles so if we uh, trip suppose the breaker is on in conditions the suppose the breaker is on in conditions when the breaker is on this uh, 52a b and 52a a is the auxiliary contact this is the auxiliary contact when uh, first <coughs> telling about uh, what is the functions of the closing before the closing the status is now breaker is off conditions so the 52a b is nc normally nc contact so 52a a 52a a is normally open contact now the status is breaker is on in conditions then the 52a b is off or a no and 52a a is nc so the conversions of this uh, auxiliary contacts uh, will be uh, inside the auxiliary uh, switches so if the breaker is off in conditions so this 52a b is the normally nc contact we are uh, just getting the negative we are just getting the negative uh, up to the 195 or 95 abc relay and we are uh, providing the positive supply to the coil of the 195 or 295 this is for the 195 for the trip 1 and the 295 for the trip 2 supervisions so uh, the breaker is off in condition 52a b is nc this is the no contact so the we are just uh, supervising the negative negative path the negative is coming or not if the negative is not coming we uh, we should have to check the trip coil we should have to check the uh, fuse we should have to check the resistance or the uh, we should have to uh, troubleshoot uh, the total path 
total path from this point to these points if anything has uh, damaged or anything has a problem we should have to take the immediate step to repair or replace the um, uh, coils resistance or fuse immediately for the safer operation of the circuit breaker so in breaker off condition we are getting the negative here and we are providing the positive to the coil and the coil is uh, picked up and the uh, uh, supervising that the uh, trip coil one path is okay the same procedures for the trip coil two the trip coil two path is okay after the breaker is on in condition then uh, then 52 b will be no and 52 a will be nc so we are uh, again uh, supervising the trip coil one and trip coil two path by getting uh, by taking the negative uh, negative pulse from here negative negative pulse from here so uh, we are uh, we are uh, not getting the, the negative from this path we are getting the negative uh, from this path so this is the post close supervision breaker is on in condition we are getting the negative pulse from here and we are providing the positive pulse uh, to the 195 the second port or 295 another uh, port for getting the negative and positive to getting um, the uh, coil uh, in energized conditions if the coil is energized conditions we are sanguine that the path of the trip coil 1 and 2 is fine and uh, no problem inside these uh, circuitries so this is the post close and pre close we are we will discuss about um, uh, this uh, circuit in another uh, pictures these pictures uh, represents the local tnc switch remote or control room tnc switch lr switch inside the breakers 86 relay in the control room 95 195 or it may be the 295 relay inside um, uh, the control room panel annunciator in the panel so this is the circuitry from the breaker to control room panel this is the positive this is the negative this is the trip coil breaker is uh, breaker is in uh, on condition first option is the on condition so breaker is the on conditions if we uh, uh, providing if we providing the uh, trip pulse from the remote so we should have to uh, take the options or should have to give in the uh, LR switch in the remote positions. Local remote selector switch to the remote positions. After remote position this positive pulse from the breakers is uh, coming or going by this way and up to this point positive pulse. Positive pulse. If we uh, close the uh, of the breaker trip the breaker then we have to um, just uh, turn the pistol grip mechanism to the uh, trip position then the DC will be through from this path and the breaker will be tripped accordingly tripped accordingly how it is supervising the breaker the breaker is in on conditions so breaker is in on conditions so 52 air A is uh, NC contact and 52 air B is no contact we are just supervising the negative path we are just supervising the negative path to sanguine that the path is okay or not we are getting the negative from here tip coil is okay uh, we consider so the 52 air a is the nc contact this is the uh, um, this is the path of the post close uh, we should have to remember that the k23 a is the post close k23 double a is the pre close supervision um, schedules and k23 is the remote uh, trip remote trip schedule so uh, for the post close we are uh, uh, providing the negative to the a coil and the a coil is getting the positive from the direct positive bus so the coil is energized if a coil is energized a coil will energize uh, the c coil c is the reverse flag relay then uh, the annunciator will not show anything the anything if any problem here the trip coil is burned then the trip coil is burned so this path is not getting the negative 
so no if uh, this path is not getting the negative only the positive is in the a coil the a coil will not be energized if the a coil will be not energized the coil uh, the flag will be down flag will be down and the annunciator will showing that um, the tip coil one is unhealthy tip coil one path is unhealthy or trip coil one is unhealthy it is same for the trip coil two tip coil two if uh, suppose the breaker is in off condition breaker is in off condition so 52 air air a mm, uh, is you know contact and 52 air b will be nc contact so uh, from this path we are getting the negative we are getting the negative up to the b coil and b coil getting the positive from this uh, bus uh, dc bus so b coil will be energized if the b coil will be energized so the c coil will be energized if it will not happen suppose the trip coil one is unhealthy or the resistance or the fuse uh, connected uh, with a series of the trip coil um, is burnt or melted then this negative is not coming uh, to this uh, via this path and the b coil will not be energized if the b coil will not be energized c, c flag will be down if the c coil will be found uh, down then we will uh, sanguine that we should have to rectify or we have to check the path of the trip coil pre close or post close whatever be so the annunciator will show the trip coil one unhealthy if the trip trip coil one unhealthy we should have to check this path 23 a to negative 23 a to negative for the post close and for the p close and this 86 r is the master trip relay 86 r is the master trip relay all the relay is connected parallelly with the master trip relay master trip relay so 86 relay will be operated if uh, the corresponding uh, other relay um, will be energized that means the huge amount of current if the huge amount of current flowing through the city city um, uh, secondary um, coil is connected with the relay and the, if the um, extra amount of current will be flow that um, uh, beyond the range then this uh, coil contact no contact will be energized coil will be energized no contact will be nc and the direct positive pulse will go through the trip coil and the um, uh, breaker will be tripped accordingly this is uh, called the protection trip this is for the local path this is for the remote path and this is for the protection path it's all the protection path is concerned okay friend uh, thank you for watching my video uh, we sh should have to remember that the pre-close the b coil is used post close a coil is used and the c coil is the summation of the b coil b coil getting the power to the c coil for energization and a coil also providing the power to the c coil for energization so friend if you uh, interested to show my technical video please subscribe my channels and shares with your friends and colleagues thank you thank you very much for watching my video thank you